Hi guys and welcome back to another video. I hope that you are doing amazing. Today's video is going to be a dedicated video to eyeshadow palettes that I think would be perfect for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is right around the corner and whether you celebrate it or not, I do feel like it just makes the month of February a month of love and pink and red and purples and just so much fun, honestly. I am literally in my girly era right now where hearts and pinks and purples and reds and disco and lights is just all I'm into. I actually have a haul of things that I'm adding into my beauty studio. So I thought it would be fun to just go through my collection, collect a few of them, hint, hint, they're right behind me, and just show you an array of different options, drugstore and high-end, and even some luxury of products and palettes that the color story just like speaks to me. And it's like, this is something I would wear on Valentine's Day on a date with the hubby or for Valentine's Day getting together with the girls. So if you would like to see which palettes I picked out, well then you know what to do, just keep on watching. Now if you notice, we have a different setting and I have rearranged my office slash beauty room and I am literally so obsessed with it. I want to be able to display all the makeup that I have so that I can use it more. It is a 2024 goal to use up the makeup that I have and also just become familiar with what I have. I have so much but when it's tucked away, I forget what I have and then I end up buying as the same or things that are super similar that I just don't need. So this is the eyeshadow galore. Maybe once I'm all done, I'll do a little tour of the makeup room because literally the vision is to have my own little Sephora in the sense of like I want all the products on display. I want to look at it. I want to be able to like have the feeling of like shopping my stash, which is also a series that I want to start on here just to be able to use what I have. So anyways, with all that babbling, as I was putting together this beauty of a wall, I was just pulling out palettes that the color story spoke to me for Valentine's Day, whether they're like pinky, reds, neutrals, purples, like I think I picked out a palette for every and any type of taste that you might have. So if you're a neutral girl, I feel like I have something here for you. If you're a sparkly girl, I have something for you. If you're a matte girl, I have something for you. If you're a colorful girl, we have things here for you. So let's get started because we have a lot. The first palette that I want to show is this All May one and it is so simple. It literally just has four colors. This is their Intense Eye Color Shadow Palette and this is in the number 10 and it's literally just called Browns. You have a beautiful inner corner color. You have two beautiful shades to just be able to put over the eye as well as this one to just deepen up on the outer end. But what I loved is this shimmer. I thought this or even this one for a day look would be gorgeous to just apply over the eye and get a stunning, simple look for Valentine's Day. Next up, we have this bougie, bougie palette that I purchased and I haven't used it as much as I thought I would, but I thought that the color story would be perfect for Valentine's Day. And this is the Valentino Color Flip Multi Look Eye Palette. This is what the color story looks like. And you know that pink is calling my attention. I feel like that color over the lid would be beautiful on its own, but then you also have different colors to layer. But wait, there's more. There's a whole other section that you can use that has that beautiful, beautiful gold that you can put over the eye and this really, really intense black to just be able to create a liner. So overall, I feel like this is definitely a palette that I want to use or like pull out to be able to use because I think that the color story works very well for the month that we're in. Okay, but before we continue, I want to show you these super cute lips earrings that I got from Nasty Gal last year, I believe. Like, how stinking cute is that? I am so into really cute and girly jewelry and like office supplies and just different things, the color, everything. Like, I am just literally completely in my girly era. But anyways, back to the eyeshadow. A newer palette that I definitely want to mention is the Mora Celestial Love palette. This is what she looks like in all of her glory. Like, look at this color story and tell me that that doesn't scream love it it definitely it definitely does i'm so excited to use it i actually used it in the eyeshadow look that i have on today the mattes that i used for this palette are moira and ugh, the quality of this is 
superb. So if you haven't gotten your hands on a Moira palette, this is your sign to do so. Next, we have this palette from Viseart, and it is one of their petites for This palette is called Violetta, and, and just look at how stunning this quad is. Obviously, we have the berries. We have this beautiful, beautiful color right here, which is honestly why I purchased the palette. It gives major solstice vibes, which is the glitter topper shade that I have on this eye. And I think this would be beautiful over the eye. We have the beautiful burgundy and this stunning color to just be able to place over the eye. So I thought that this one would be such a fun, mini, small little palette to incorporate for Valentine's Day. Now, if we're talking sparkles, we definitely need the LH Cosmetics Shimmer Saga. I spoke about this in the top palettes that I would gift if I can give to anyone. And this is just sparkling galore. Let me show you what they look like. This way is the best way to capture the color. So we have like a pink base, a gold base, a blue, and a white. But this reflection is absolutely stunning. Once again, this color right here, love, how fitting, is one of those shades, once again, that also just resembles Solstice on the eye. As you can tell, I'm a lover of like that pink base with blue and pink particles just like shimmering on the eye because it gives this effect. So definitely a stunning, stunning palette to use. You also have some greens and you have this beautiful champagne color as well as a white gold that just look absolutely stunning on the eye. And honestly, you don't really need much else. You literally just need this palette and you can easily put those shades over the eye for a beautiful ethereal look. We're kind of all around with this because I want to give you some high-end, some drugstore, literally everything. So I just put them in size order so that's how I'm going about picking them out. Next up we have the Revlon So Fierce and this is in the color The Big Bang and this is a quad it just has four colors they're all shimmers but i thought these shimmer toppers would be absolutely beautiful honestly when i was looking at the palettes i was obviously looking for anything that has a nice and vibrant pink like look at that color how gorgeous is that wow i actually haven't used these and i'm excited to because while i was looking at look at that beautiful chocolate brown while I was rearranging and organizing all of my palettes, I just became so excited for all the different formulas and brands and comparison and just video ideas and looks to come up with. Like, look at that bronze color. That is stunning on the eye. So I thought this would be perfect, perfect for just those really pretty colors to just pair over the eye. Once again, you can pair with a matte eyeshadow, your bronzer, or just throw this same color all over the lid. Next up, I have the She Glam Harry Potter Gryffindor palette. Now, how fitting is this palette? Like you have your red, your browns, your inner corner color, and, and that really pretty solid gold to just be able to pair over the eye. This is, once again, a quad, but it has all of the perfect shades to be able to wear. Honestly, for an everyday look, you can just pair these, or if you want to deepen it up, you can put some brown all over the lid. This red will look absolutely gorgeous. So this is definitely an affordable, really good palette to be able to take out i'm trying to cruise through these because as you can see i have quite a lot of options so pardon me if i'm going pretty quickly but i'm trying to get through as many as i can now this one is an absolutely stunning one ridiculously expensive but this is the ysl culture mini clutch and this is in the number 100 like, i don't know if that's the name of it but this is for the cool tone girlies out there that don't want anything pink don't want anything warm tone don't want any browns honey this color story is for you now i actually did find a quad similar like this on amazon and those go for ten dollars it is coming in the mail so when it comes i want to do a side by side comparison to these more luxury high ends just to see like what are the differences and if you love color stories like finding different alternatives because honey she's expensive i think it's like 65 or 68 dollars for the quad but it is ysl so a luxury brand and i just loved the color story it is such a beautiful cool tone palette so i feel like it'll just be nice for every day and honestly i can't even lie like it feels nice like the quality is there i mean you should be for <laughs> the amount of money that i'm paying for four quads but it's insane just how beautiful and buttery the colors are. So I wanted to pop this one in there for, you know, a bougie, taupey, cool tone day. Since we're all over the place, like I mentioned with price points, we're jumping over to LA Girl. And this is the Keep It Playful Eye Palette in the color 
Flame Made. I've spoken about these palettes. I love them. They are such good quality and, and I believe their price point is like $10 which is insane. But I love these cranberry gold metallic shades that you can literally always just pair over the eye. If you can't tell, that is what I love to do. I just love to put a nice shimmery glitter metallic foiled shade over the lid and if i want a little bit more i'll like play around with the liner or you know deepen it up with some matte shades but palettes that have these beautiful beautiful metallics and shimmers just speak to me and this is a perfect juicy warm tone but also like berry eyeshadow eyeshadow palette that i think would be perfect for you drugstore girlies out there looking for something romantic and just beautiful to wear this month of love now moving on to the roll in the back now this is actually a newer eyeshadow palette that i just picked up so i haven't tried it but the color story spoke to me it just said like romantic beautiful purple and i'm like you know what i need that and that is the milani gilded mini in the color the wind down excuse me but how beautiful is that milani has really 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 great eyeshadow formulas in the drugstore so i was really excited to pick these up look at just a quick swatch of those two colors we have that beautiful plum color we have some stunning stunning mauves and the lighter shade to be able to do an inner corner it's just so beautiful affordable i believe these also are like 9.99 i picked it up on amazon you can pick it up in ulta it is just the color story fantastic now i have another viseart palette i actually picked up three palettes from their website because they were having a major sale and i haven't owned a viseart palette in years but it popped up on my instagram stories and i was intrigued and i'm loving their color stories recently this is their violette eyeshadow palette and the theme clearly here is purples now i know for like valentine's day people typically think like pinks and reds but i would throw purple in there because i think that it is such a beautiful stunning color definitely also just like leaning into like the lilacs but look at this beauty I am obsessed and I cannot wait to be able to use it. Vizard has really, really, really good formulas. They are more expensive, but you do get good quality. So I am so excited to be able to use this one. And I thought this would be the perfect month to test it out. And before we go to the next one, we need to swatch this pink. Ooh, that is stunning. Let's see what that looks like oh that's pretty it has like a blue purple and pink base <gasps> over the eye moving on to another drugstore palette that we have is the wet and wild color icon this one is also newer i'm actually going to be doing a video pretty soon on just affordable palettes to pick up at the drugstore or on amazon because there is so much that you can find on amazon you literally don't even have to go to your drugstore anymore you can pick them up on amazon oftentimes cheaper than what they are in stores so keep an eye out for that video but i picked this one up and similar to that milani one we have the beautiful purple and pink color story which i am obsessed with i think this is just so beautiful and romantic honestly like just a soft girl romantic flushed beautiful type of look that's literally just what i get from this so i feel like you could do a very soft day look and then deepen it up if you want some with that plum color this palette is called petalette and i think it is so so cute and i bought it on amazon I think literally for like $3.29 or $4 which is insane so definitely check them out now another bougie palette that I have and I have not used this since I purchased it I've used it maybe once is this Tom Ford eye color quad and this palette is called golden minx and it is just an everyday neutral quad but it has beautiful shimmers which I thought would be stunning to just be able to pair over the lid for a romantic ethereal look and then we have these beautiful satin colors right here which honestly this chocolate brown I would love to just pair kind of just like all over the eye and maybe dust some of this in the middle to kind of create like a halo I actually want to try that look looking at it right now I love how that would turn out but I thought that this would be another good neutral option for those of you who don't really want any crazy pop of pink or red but you want something soft and beautiful 
Now speaking of soft and beautiful and right back into Viseart, this is the third palette that I picked up and this one is called Kashmiri. And as you can see, we have those really cool toned neutral shades, which I think are obviously staple in any collection. But I love once again, those really beautiful mauve pinky tones. I think that those are just beautiful looks to just accentuate, especially if you have brown eyes. I think that looks stunning, but honestly, any color eye, I think the color is just absolutely stunning on so many different skin skin tones we have some silvers we have some golds we have our matte shades I feel like this palette is so cohesive and has beautiful shades to be able to use for an everyday ethereal look but also still a soft glam now a palette to share that is just all neutrals like if you just want your browns girl I got you the Juvia's the coffee shop look at this and it is so rich it is a beautiful combination of mattes and shimmers this honestly quality is a1 and i think it's like 20 or 25 dollars which is absolutely such a steal you have your inner corner color you have deeper colors for you to be able to create liner with you have different shimmer toppers like honestly such a staple love the juvia's formula and would highly 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 recommend it if you don't want any pop of color but you do want a good neutral drugstore palette now if you're looking for something that is going to give you the most beautiful juicy foiled gorgeous eye topper look then look no further i have found that for you this is the flower beauty desert lights palette i don't know what exactly the name of this one is but it's the one that has all of the pinks and mauvies now this is a full-on shimmer palette but when i tell you this formula first of all it feels wet i don't know how they do it i have their original one that has like the greens and some purples and so when i saw this color story come out i'm like yeah i need that because those colors are gorgeous like look at how beautiful they just blend like absolute butter on the hands as well on the eyes like i said i am a sucker for eye toppers like i just love to put things over the eye like what i have right now and this is such a perfect palette for that and on top of that even more so in february the month of love like the color story just screams it just screams i'm in love i'm flushed i'm beautiful i'm cute so so this is definitely a recommended product if you are a shimmer foiled type of girl this is for you next up we're gonna move into nabla and nabla is a brand that i feel like i don't hear much about and honestly i purchased these palettes years ago and i haven't used them but i want to dive back in because the formula is literally next level their mattes are butter and their shimmers are just so beautiful so the palette that i'm pulling out is the soul blooming eyeshadow palette i feel has such a unique and beautiful color story but it works for the occasion you have some really beautiful soft colors to be able to just make a beautiful and romantic look you also have some pops of blue if pink is not your vibe or purple or red go with a blue go with whatever makes you feel beautiful romantic and cute i feel like this palette has all of it it has depth it has color it has metallics it is just such a stunning palette and i definitely want to use this more because it just it is just absolutely beautiful. Now a palette that I had to include in here, like the name itself says it all, is the Natasha Denona Love Palette. This literally screams a Valentine's Day. I don't know if this was actually launched for a Valentine's Day at some point in the past, but it has the entire color story that when I think of love, when I think of Valentine's Day, when I think of Galentine's, when I think of, you know, something cute, romantic, this is the color story that I look for. We're talking, we have some reds, tons of pinks, purples we have some chocolate we have a silver in a corner matte like like this palette pretty much has it all i mean the name itself says the love palette and i feel like this color story is just extremely fitting for what we're talking about another great palette to be able to take out i don't know if they sell this anymore but if you have it i definitely would encourage you to take it out and use it is going to be the bh cosmetics bff alondra and elsie palette me and my sisters got this for each other so it holds such a beautiful place in my heart but it is a pop of color palette but you also still have your neutrals this color there speaks to me in so many different languages because it's a green base but it has some brown so i feel like 
this all over the lid and that right in the middle would be a beautiful beautiful look but you also have your pinks you have some blues you have some browns it is just such a stunning and cohesive color story that i feel like you can get so many different looks from and each of them would come out beautiful this is that stunning color swatched on the hands you see how it has that brown base but then also has green reflect beautiful we're almost done, but I did just want to whip out all of the palettes that I was just inspired by when it came to Valentine's Day in February. And this is no exception. This is the Retro Love. Now, this one is a bit more loud than all the other palettes that I've shown you. But look at this right here. Honestly, this is what speaks to me. The purples, the pinks, the browns. And once again, we have those pops of blues that if you want to add that, you can. But the purple and the pink and this beautiful champagne color... Oh my gosh, all over the lid. Like I'm telling you, you really don't have to do that much to get beautiful, beautiful looks. You just need a good sparkle. Honestly, you don't even need a sparkle. Sometimes you can even do a nice map. But let's just look at those colors swatched over the eye. A beautiful full mascara. The one that I'm using is the is a Lancome one and it just gives volume and beauty and oh, I'm telling you obsessed now we have just four more palettes left so i'm gonna just quickly go through them we have another moira palette and this one is called i'm falling for you like how pretty and fitting and i i love the packaging it's literally like a postcard written to somebody which is so beautiful look at the inside like excuse me but this color story is perfection once again we have our purples we have some burgundies we have those beautiful just like burnt sienna shades this is just an absolute stunning stunning palette to just really get any and every look this and this for some reason i'm just like drawn to deeper shades right now like i just want to do a chocolate eye and this shimmer topper is absolutely gorgeous moira's matte as i've said in previous videos is just it's like silk it's like silk how do they do it I don't know. Now I have an ABH palette and this one was the Jackie Ina collaboration. I don't know if they sell this anymore, but if you have it, honey, take it out because the color story screams, screams Valentine's Day, the pinks, the purples. I'm telling you, if you can kind of see there's a color story that we're going for, pinks, purples. I wouldn't necessarily say reds just because for me, red is not really a preference. I don't want to look like I have pink eye, even though you would think pink would do that, but it doesn't depending on the shade that you do. But this color story is absolutely stunning. You get your pinks, your purples, but you also get some other pops of colors, the chocolate brown, the metallic, the gold. You just have so many options, which is why I wanted to put this one in here. And then the last two palettes that I wanted to talk about are both Patrick Ta palettes, so I'll put them together. The first one that I want to mention is the Major Dimension 2, and this is their like berry shade where the bottom row is all mattes and the top is all shimmers. Once again, the color story is perfect for what we're talking about and the quality is definitely there and then the last one that I want to talk about of Patrick's Ta is his latest one and that is going to be the Major Dimensions 3 I have talked about this multiple times it is an all matte palette which will work so well with any topper from all the other palettes or single eyeshadows that I mentioned but even if you want just a full matte look that looks so beautiful i actually saw somebody here on youtube babs beauty i believe she was using the kkw new palette from skin and she just did a halo eye with like three colors using all mattes and i'm like that is absolutely gorgeous so do not underestimate the power of matte shades they look so beautiful they last well throughout the day and they just help make your eye look defined and contoured i don't know what it is but the formula of this palette is superb so i would definitely recommend getting your hands on it i know for a fact that this will be an eyeshadow staple in my collection because who doesn't use mattes and who doesn't love them? Alrighty guys, well that concludes this video. That concludes this extended list of palettes that I would recommend or suggest you check out for Valentine's Day. We gave you drugstore, we gave you high-end, we gave you luxury. You take your pick, whatever suits you. I also just wanna quickly throw in an even more affordable option. If you don't wanna spend more than $5, but you want an eyeshadow palette that would be great for Valentine's Day, do not look past the Elf Bite Size Quads, but this one is in the shade Very Bad, and we have berry tones, like how stunning is that? Each of the colors can go over the lid. This lighter color would work so well as a transition shade, and all of these over the top of the eye would look gorgeous even putting this in the center for a halo eye 
I'm like really inspired to do a halo eye right now. Like that's what I keep seeing when I look at the palettes. But definitely check this one out. Only $3. $3, which is insane. And the quality is amazing. Well, those are all the palettes that I have to recommend for you. This is so exciting. And I want to do this every month just to go through the entire collection and pick out like 10 to 15 palettes that I want to use for that month. These are the ones that I'm picking out for the month of February, which obviously is the month of Valentine's Day and love and all that good stuff. Remember that you do not need necessarily a partner to celebrate Valentine's Day. Show love to yourself, show love to your girlfriends, to your friends, to your family. It's just a time to remember to show love, whichever way that can be. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Make sure to like the video and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.